People asked us about next year's Prophecy Conference as soon as this year's Rocky Mountain International Prophecy Conference was completed. Uh, we're a little slow on getting the information to you because the news has been released, but we are proud to be able to make you aware of this. Uh, we figured we'd better do it soon, what with Donald Trump winning the presidency and the Cubs winning the World Series. That's, those are surely signs of the imminent apocalypse. But uh, joining us with news of next year, what will surely be the biggest prophecy conference of next year, our good friends from Prophecy Watchers, Gary Stearman and Bob Ulrich. Fellas, it's good to see you again. Hi, Derek. Good to see you again. And we've got some great news and a lot to talk about today. Right, Bob? Always a pleasure. Uh, big announcements uh, make our day. Well, this is... Uh, a change we had kind of uh, grown accustomed the last couple of years with the uh, the setting there in Colorado Springs which is absolutely beautiful but uh, coming up this year the uh, Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum will be at a new venue tell us about it you know the prophecy conference uh, which we're calling the Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum uh, is going to be quite different i think uh, this year than it ever has been before First of all, because of the times in which it takes place. Secondly, and I want Bob Ulrich to talk about this, uh, it's going to be an Oklahoma prophecy conference. Uh, it's going to be dedicated to a meeting of the minds. That's why we're calling it a forum. Rather than uh, gathering at some gorgeous spot that has tourist appeal, i got to tell you, Bob, uh, Oklahoma has its own particular kind of appeal. Absolutely. In fact, in Norman, Oklahoma, uh, as you're going to find out soon, and the hotel we've secured in Norman, uh, the Embassy Suites, is an absol absolutely beautiful luxury hotel located literally 50 yards from everything imaginable. Restaurants, shopping, anything you could possibly want to do, you're going to find in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, but the big reason we're coming to Oklahoma is our first prophecy conference was so well attended and so successful. Uh, it really kind of convinced us that we need a bigger forum. We need a bigger place to share uh, the incredible conference last year. Is it going to be even more incredible this year with as many as 30 speakers coming to Norman, Oklahoma? And Bob, as many people as we anticipate coming, we're not going to be crowded. We have a lot of operating space. We have far better facilities than ever before. Uh, we're going to have uh, a way uh, for you when you attend to feel at home, uh, to feel uh, that, like you really have access to the people who will be there and who will be speaking. Uh, we're preparing, I, I guess, uh, something that features hospitality in a way that we've never featured it before. Well, people are coming certainly to hear the speakers. You know, the venue is going to be wonderful. The city is probably going to be far better than you could ever imagine. But 30 speakers. Now, this is not your father's prophecy conference, is it? It is not. And these speakers will be ranging across the board. Uh, from the academic world, uh, people from theological seminaries, from the world of, uh, if you will, active teaching and preaching, uh, from the world of uh, prophetic publishing. Uh, we're going to bring all these minds together in the same place, whether it's academia the th from the theological uh, seminary, whether it is uh, video, whether it is the medium of radio, uh, public speaking, they're all going to be there. And you know, I think even the name of this event, the Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum, is going to give you a hint about the things we really want to focus on. The presidential election is over. Uh, Donald Trump is now the president. Uh, we're moving into a period of time that's a little bit unknown as far as uh, where America goes, where the world goes. Um, but we're also coming to a, you know, to a critical point where we want to talk about the positive things that are going to bless you uh, as an attendee and as a viewer. We're going to talk about heaven. We're going to talk about the millennium. We're going to talk about the rapture of the church. And we've got a lot of really just incredibly highly, highly qualified people. Um, men like Tommy Ice and Randall Price. I mean, you're talking about two prophetic legends uh, who uh, have really uh, made a, a great impression on people in their 30 years of Bible research. Absolutely. And you mentioned the number 30, 30 speakers uh, across the board covering topics uh, that I anticipate will be greatly appreciated at the time they come. I think we're moving, Bob, into a time of, of extreme change. 
uh, foreign and domestic. We are, or we're just seeing uh, economic foreshadowings. We're seeing uh, Europe uh, fra in fragmentation. We're seeing the Middle East uh, breaking out in all sorts of uh, different uh, conflicts. And all of those are foretold in the Bible. And, and that's why I think this is going to be such an important forum. I mean, speaking of the Middle East, we've got Bill Koenig, an official White House correspondent uh, who may actually be uh, spending quite a bit of uh, his time in Israel in the days ahead. And of course, Bill Salas, who's been writing about a coming war in the Middle East between Israel and Iran and all of the, uh, their neighbors in the Middle East. And who knows where that's all going to go. I mean, we're over 11 months away right now from this event. Just imagine what it's going to be like 11 months from now in America and the world. We don't really know where we're going to be, but we know we've brought the minds and the key people who are uh, writing about these things. Uh, they're in place and they're going to be at this event with us. And we should also mention that one of the speakers is going to be Derek Gilbert. And <laughs> I've been waiting for you to say a little something there, Derek, and I'm sure you're excited about coming along with uh, Tom Horn and the good people there with you at Skywatch TV. Well, the, uh, the, of course, the, the smart ones from around here, uh, namely my wife, Sharon Gilbert, and uh, Josh Peck will, will be there as well. Josh and Tom have a new book that is just coming out now called uh, Abaddon Ascending, which deals with uh, what might actually be the purpose of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, I have no idea what Sharon will come up with, but every time she, she puts her mind to a new, uh, new presentation, even though she says she feels uncomfortable giving those presentations, people come out of her sessions with their minds just blown uh, at the connections that she makes. And, and I'm just excited about some of the historical stuff and theological stuff that I've been reading about the ancient Near East, the, the, the days in which Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses lived, the days of Jesus and the apostles. The, there are conflicts in the spirit realm that are recorded in the Bible that we rarely hear discussed in, in a church setting. And it's right there in Scripture. And the, the thing that's, that I'm fi finding really cool is that a lot of it is backed up in history. Scholars and academics know things about that period of history that just never make it into the church for some reason. And I'm looking forward to bringing that to the, uh, to the conference as well. Um, you, you, but back to the geopolitical situation around the world, Lieutenant Colonel Bob McGinnis will be one of the speakers there. And he is a Pentagon insider who has uh, been a very close observer of Washington from the inside out for decades. And I'm, every time we hear from him, it's always an education. And of course, many of our old friends are going to be with us too. Uh, just about everyone watching today knows L.A. Marzulli. Um, we've also got Tim Alberino with us this year, fresh off uh, his True Legends DVD series uh, that Tom is now a part of, which is just absolutely spectacular. Let's talk about David Hawking, a very, very well-known speaker and in prophetic circles, uh, solid. Been there for years, and I'm sure that people will want to hear what he has to say in the context of what's going on. Right. Now. How do you mention David's name without mentioning Ron Rhodes and Gary right. Frazier? Right. I mean, these are two soldiers in the prophetic fight who've been fighting these battles and informing us and writing for 25, 30 years. They're all coming to an event we really feel is going to be the premier prophetic prophecy conference of the year in 2017. We're anticipating a crowd of around 2,000 people. And we have the space for it this year. We didn't have the space in Colorado Springs. We've moved to a larger venue. Uh, even just the main auditorium seats over 1,400 people. So we're really wow. well equipped this year to really uh, handle the crowds. And that's a good thing because uh, as everybody knows who's ever attended a prophecy conference in the past, uh, between speeches the halls get pretty crowded and uh, there's always the big throng uh, of people trying to get up and down the aisles. And uh, I can tell you our facility is going to allow people just to kind of uh, relax and move about freely. It's going to be wonderful. Now let me tell you what's really different about this prophecy conference. You know, there's a lot of conferences that go on all over the country. You hear a lot of uh, Prophecy 101, a uh, little bit of pablum built in. Uh, we like to refer to our ministry here as uh, things you'll never hear in church. Well, we've assembled a collection of people who are going to teach you things that you're just going to look at, look at each other in shock, like uh, Michael Lake is attending the event as one of the speakers. And Michael has this shocking information on the Tower of Babel last year 
where people looked at each other and said, I, I never saw that in the Bible. Where's he getting that from? And so one after another, all these speakers are going to be talking about some subjects that are controversial, they're exciting, they're cutting edge. Uh, this is the event where you're going to hear things that uh, you're not going to hear on Sunday morning, believe me. Yep. This is grad school for people who really want to dive deeper, and it's uh, just an honor to be a part of it. Uh, there are some really deep thinkers there, Brent Miller Sr., um, Carl Teichrib, um, uh, uh, just a, a couple of the others that, uh, that'll be on the, uh, the speakers list there. Um, it is uh, going to be a, a, just, a, just an amazing gathering, and I think the question in people's minds right now is, where do they sign up? Well, that's an easy one. Uh, prophecywatchers.com. Go to our website, find the big blue banner, click on the banner. It'll take you literally right to our bookstore. You can register for the event, a one-time fee of $90, which covers all the messages from all 30 speakers over a three-day period. Uh, after you make your conference registrations, you'll want to go uh, e either to the website or to the internet, find the Embassy Suites Hotel and Norman, get yourself a registration at the main menu. We've got two or three other hotels lined up uh, for overflow, which I suspect we'll be uh, needing in the very near future. We've already registered several hundred people a year before the event even takes place. Prophecywatchers.com, that's the place to go to sign up. All right, and the dates of the conference, October 13th through the 15th of 2017. Again, the Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum at the uh, Embassy Suites Hotel in Norman, Oklahoma. Um, I know we'll see you before then, but boy, we are sure looking forward to seeing you there, God willing. We are too, by the way. And you know, our, uh, uh, our thought uh, surrounding this conference is encapsulated in three words, watching, waiting, witnessing. And uh, it's on that hope, that hopeful stance that we're building this whole conference. Amen. And we're really hoping that uh, people who follow us from around the country, you think about how close everything is to Norman. You've got Texas, you've got within the state of Oklahoma, you've got a uh, big audience in Little Rock who follow us faithfully, our Colorado friends, uh, Santa Fe and Albuquerque, New Mexico friends. So many people are just within a day's drive of this event in Norman. Uh, I promise you when you come to Oklahoma, if you've never been here before, you're going to be in a state of shock. It's a sophisticated city. Uh, the city of Norman is a great college town. It's a lively place. Lots and lots of restaurants, lots of sights to see, things to do. Everything from dinosaur museums to our Western Heritage Center, which is literally a world-class museum celebrating the days of cowboys and Indians, the Old West, the Old Western movies. It's a fabulous place to go. A uh, five-star museum. Derek, we're really looking forward to working with you. Yeah, it's, uh, it, again, it, it's an honor, and we are looking forward to it. That is uh, going to be the high point, or one of the high points of our year next year. Uh, Gary Stearman, Bob Ulrich, Prophecy Watchers. The website is prophecywatchers.com, and, of course, you see him every week on television, usually uh, right before Skywatch TV or, or somewhere in the vicinity anyway. But, uh, fellas, uh, great to see you again, and we'll talk again soon. And that will be a fun thing for us to do. A few closing thoughts. Straight ahead on Skywatch TV. Coming exclusively from Skywatch TV. For a very limited time, starting December 6, 2016, when you purchase the new three-book special investigative research collection, Abaddon Ascending, Final Fire, and the Shereth Imperative from SkywatchTV.com, you'll receive the largest giveaway in Skywatch TV history. An unprecedented value of over $400 in free books, DVDs, audio files, and the never-before-released data DVD library from Dr. Michael Lake on The Shereth Imperative, which includes 56 Christian classic works on PDF, all 28 episodes in Dr. Michael Lake's Understanding the Kingdom audio series, the latest version of Eastward for Windows, the three-part Into the Multiverse television series where Josh Peck interviews Dr. Michael Lake on the Shereth Imperative, and nearly three hours of bonus interviews on video with Dr. Lake on the Sharpening Report. For your library or to give away as gifts, 
Also included in this biggest giveaway in Skywatch TV history are Josh Peck's full-length 2016 DVD presentations, The Quantum Future, and Extra-Dimensional UFOs. Dr. Michael Lake's full-length 2016 DVD presentations, Jericho, The Anatomy of a Stronghold, and The Shinar Directive. The new five-part Skywatch TV special investigative report on the books, Abaddon Ascending, Final Fire, and The Sheerith Imperative. But that's not all. You'll also receive the new Best of Skywatch television on DVD, over five and a half hours of the most popular episodes in Skywatch TV history. Travel through the multiverse on the new Best of Into the Multiverse on DVD. Over five hours of audio with Josh Peck on the coming Technocalypse. The best-selling book, The Final Roman Emperor. An incredible five-year subscription to the Skywatch magazine. Two brand new free gift books. And the never-before-released data DVD library from Dr. Michael Lake on The Sheerith Imperative. For your library or to give away as gifts, an unprecedented value of over $400 in never-before-offered free products. This is the biggest giveaway in Skywatch TV history, and it's yours absolutely free when you purchase the new three-book special investigative research collection, Abaddon Ascending, Final Fire, and The Sheerith Imperative for only $39.95 plus shipping from skywatchtv.com beginning December 6, 2016. But be advised, this astonishing promotion is limited to first come, first serve while supplies last. So it's urgent that beginning December 6, 2016, you place your order for the new three-book special investigative research collection. This offer is on a limited time basis and will end without notification. So be sure to visit skywatchtv.com to follow the updates. In the countdown to the biggest giveaway in Skywatch TV history, the unprecedented value of over $400 in never-before-offered free products while supplies last. For more details, log on to skywatchtv.com. Take advantage of the Skywatch TV magazine. Monthly articles from the staff at Skywatch TV and special guest authors delivered right to your door. One-year subscriptions are now available. You'll find the information online at skywatchtvstore.com. We're looking forward to the conference next year, and I think Gary put it best. Watching, waiting, witnessing. We do believe in a premillennial, pre-tribulation rapture. But as I pointed out at last July's conference, we don't know with 100% absolute certainty how things will play out. We know that Jesus is coming back, coming back to take the church home and to set all things right on this earth, to pass judgment. But as Paul wrote to the church at Corinth, 1 Corinthians, if the archons, the rulers of this world, had understood God's prophetic plan. They would never have crucified the Lord of glory. In other words, God obscures the prophecies so that the enemy can't create a convincing lie. We may not understand completely, but we know for sure that he is coming. But until that day, we need to be about the king's business, which is witnessing, making disciples of all nations. And that, because ultimately the blessed hope is eternity with Christ. And that's what we're working toward. Thanks for watching as we keep watch. I'm Derek Gilbert, and this is Skywatch TV. Many ancient prophets foresaw Abaddon rising from the underworld in this very age. The satanic human sacrifice by CERN employees in front of the god Shiva was called parody. But all occult masters understand that symbolism was a powerful invitation for a doorway to be opened at CERN. The secret origins of CERN are nefarious to the core. Sergio Bertolucci the science director at CERN admits that they're trying to open a doorway to a parallel reality, and they hope that something 
unknown unknowns, he calls them, will come through it. And CERN was built right over Apoliacom, where the ancients believed the doorway to Abaddon and the bottomless pit exists. Is the bottomless pit from Revelation chapter 9 about to open? The biggest and most secretive investigation ever is set to be published, disclosing what no report has done before in Abaddon Ascending. Technology today is being developed so that we can communicate with extra-dimensional entities. The ancient conspiracy at the center of CERN's most secretive mission. But how will God's people, the remnant, prevail over the principalities of darkness during the final showdown between heaven and hell? Though hell may have its directive, heaven has its imperative. Increasing evidence from around the globe of miracles, healings, and prophetic visions indicate that God is already raising up an army of believers for the greatest awakening yet. Coming this December, internationally acclaimed best-selling authors and researchers Dr. Thomas Horn, author and researcher of quantum physics Josh Peck, college president Dr. Michael Lake, investigative researcher Reverend Donna Howell, and the host of Southwest Radio Ministries, Dr. Larry Spargimino. A research finale so huge and important it had to be published in a new three-book collection. Abaddon Ascending, the ancient conspiracy at the center of CERN's most secretive mission, the Shirith Imperative, empowering the remnant to overcome the gates of hell. He always has a plan. He's playing chess while the devil's playing checkers. Final Fire is the next great awakening right around the corner. There are signs all around the world right now that we are on the cusp of the next great spiritual awakening. There is revival breaking out now where there has never been the faith. This three book collection available December 6, 2016. For more details, log on to skywatchtv.com.